happened. A brawl happened at AEW uh, right after the show, for uh, after All Out. An investigation is happening. Suspensions have been handed out. Uh, you guys know the whole story. So, Dave, let's go into this. Um, you know, this is this is crazy uh, to talk about. You know, everybody knows the importance of the of su the success of AEW and professional wrestling, and especially in that company. Everything matters right now for them. And the fact that this happened uh, really is surprising to me. Well, I mean, I, I I could see a lot of it coming, but I, I, the brawl part. I didn't see coming, and even the punk stuff at the scrum. Um, I mean, I guess I saw it coming the minute he got in and 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 started. I kind of could see where that one was going, but um, I didn't know that he was going to do that. But yeah, the, the fight I didn't see coming, and that kind of changed everything. And uh, you know, I don't know the fallout yet. I mean, obviously, uh, the fact that I mean, punk's out. He tore his triceps. He had, he's already had surgery, so he's out for you know eight months ish, and. Um, so that's that's a lot of time to heal wounds and to perhaps bring him back, perhaps not. I don't know. And then as far as like the Young Bucks and Omega got stripped of the trios titles, uh, which means that um, you know, I mean, I was not shocked, but a little surprised because if it's only going to be, let's say, you know, a quick investigation, they look at it for a couple weeks, they decide they're going to bring him back at that point, or you know, just do a quick suspension and and you know, um, bring them back then. They really didn't have to strip them of the championship, but they did right away. So um, that I thought to be very interesting. And um, and that maybe even the most interesting aspect of the post-fight situation was stripping them of the titles because, um, in theory, you would only do that if they were going to be gone for longer than I presumed that they would be gone, but we'll have to wait and see. What 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 did you initially think they would be gone for? Just uh, the couple of weeks for the I, investigation, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't expect you know, um, but again, you know, and until until we get the full story of what happened, I'm trying to not really, um, you know, say like, oh, what's what's the right suspension? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because I don't, we don't know the full story. You know, what's the right thing to do? I mean, I, I, I feel a steel should be gone. I mean, I, I can say that because his job was to calm things down, not to hit somebody with a chair and bite somebody. Um, but as far as the other people, you know, I want to kind of give them their say and, and see what happens. I mean, punk through the first punch, not a good thing at all. But what happened before that punch was thrown? I mean, I mean, I'm, we'll, we'll get the story, but... No one's, you know, no one's gonna go in detail on it right now until the investigation's over. Now, on that suspension list right now is CM Punk, obviously, Ace Steel, obviously, Kenny Omega, Matt and Nick Jackson, Pat Buck, Chris Daniels, and Michael Nakazawa, along with Brandon Cutler. Uh, I, I mean, I, I find it interesting that Pat Buck and and Chris Daniels were also suspended. Is it is it because they were in the room uh, when it happened, or well, they? I, I mean, my gut was that they were that they were probably looking at breaking it up yeah that's how others, i was seeing it too uh, uh, others probably were as well i mean i'm figuring you know generally speaking when there's a fight in wrestling it's usually very short and everybody runs in to break them up um you know i i don't know again like why were these guys suspended maybe it was just a thing where everybody in the room who was involved physically because there are people in the room that were not suspended that are witnesses um but everyone who got involved in the pull apart maybe they just suspended them until you know, it's kind of like something happens on the police force that's controversial. You just kind of give them administrative leave until you look at everything. Even even if you think that they're totally innocent, that's just sort of a protocol. And I think that that might be the protocol here when it comes to, like, some of those guys that were breaking it up. Um, that, you know, just let's keep things cool. Let's just have them, um, maybe not have them around, perhaps as, as easy as to say, because if they are and they tell people, Maybe more of the story will get out, and I'm sure that they're looking at less and less of that story getting out, because one of the things they didn't like internally was that the story got out, although, you know, that was one story where I can't imagine that anybody would think it wouldn't get out. Yeah. Uh, Garrett, what, what did you make of this whole thing? I, I mean, we were texting, obviously. You were there. I was here in New York, but bonkers. So actually, you know, the thing that Dave and I had a long conversation about this on Friday, and the one thing that I realized I didn't even ask him about was about the suspension. So it's kind of a question to both of you, which is, do you think if they, if they did not get stripped when you're dealing with talent and there's two sides, it would seem that 
maybe Tony is favoring one side unless both sides were stripped of their titles because it's essentially the same punishment for the same crime kind of thing. I believe that that's the case. But the difference is is that Punk, you could say he's not stripped of the title because of what happened. You could say he's stripped of the title because he's injured because he has to be stripped of the title because of the injury. And just say I wasn't stripping anyone of the title and just leave it at that. But he, you know, quickly stripped them of the title, which I, I just found, you know, and I'm not saying right or wrong. I just found that very interesting because if they're going to be gone for two weeks, three weeks, whatever, you know, you just finished a tournament uh, for the championship and then you kind of, you know, with, with great matches and you kind of throw it away and then you put it on a team that was not even in the finals. And, you know, I mean, it was, it was a decision that he made and he hasn't really explained the decision. So, um, and, and I don't expect that he will until this thing is over. I mean, he was very careful uh, to not say anything past, you know, that whatever the lawyer said, his, this is as much as you can say and don't say anything more. Yeah, uh, obviously. Now, there, the, there are two things that got set up. One is uh, new champions for the trios titles. We saw that happen on Dynamite. We also got a, a tournament of champions that will culminate in here in Queens at Arthur Ashe Stadium. I kind of, you know, I would have loved to see Punk in Arthur Ashe. I would have loved to see Kenny again in Arthur Ashe and the Bucks in Arthur Ashe. But I guess, I mean, as of right now, we're not getting that. I, I, I can't imagine that we will. Maybe I, even even for Bucks and, the, and Kenny. But mm, two, two, two weeks. I mean, I mean, I I wouldn't bet on it, but I don't know that there's – I mean, we're not going to see Punk. I mean, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay, but that, and that, but that was going to be the case no matter what because of the injury. But, I mean, as far as, yeah, you know, good chance. And, I mean, he's going to load up the show. I mean, you're getting – the world, you know, you're getting the world championship decide match, so you're going to get a, a AEW championship change, which is a pretty big deal, and there's a good chance you're getting a tag team title change as well. So it's a major, you know, and I'm sure the lineup will be very loaded underneath as well. I mean, he's yeah. doing four hours of television taping, and and it's his. I mean, this is his biggest uh, television taping of the year, the Arthur Ashe Stadium show, and that's part of, I think, what he wants to make tradition is that the Queen they'll do Queens once a year in September, and it'll be the biggest. Uh, dynamite of the year and the biggest rampage of the year. You listen, I love that. I- I'm seven minutes away by train. <laughs> you know, I, I just get <laughs> yeah. on the train night. It's like two stops. 